Hey guys, it's Colleen from Life on Cater Ross Creek and Cater Ross Creek Vintage. And today I wanted to share some of the things that I found uh, out thrifting in the past couple of weeks um, and what I'm going to do with them and whether or not they're going to end up in the shop. Um, I'm not quite sure yet because some of it I really want to keep myself. So um, the first thing is I hit this store in, um, for those of you who are in this area, in Clifton Park. Um, they have a sale once a month. It's all 50% off all their home stuff. And I just happened to hit it that particular week. I didn't even know what was going on, but I found um, a bunch of stuff that I did really well on. So uh, this basket um, came with the flowers in it and a couple of other garlands. Um, and I got it for like $10. Um, I probably will use these for decorating down at the shop. I don't think I'll use them in the house, but we'll see. But this basket is super, super cute. It's The thing about baskets is you have to make sure that they're super sturdy um, and that all the parts are well connected. Um, I can see this with flowers for the fall or in the spring or even um, some maybe some white flowers in the summer up on top of one of the armoires. Um, or maybe in the kitchen up on top of the cabinets. I haven't really decided yet whether or not this is gonna stay here or go in the shop. Um, so I got that one. And then this one, I got two, which is so pretty. Um, it's nice and big, and again, it could go on top of a piece of furniture, which is really nice, but it's really hardy. Like you wanna make sure all the pieces are really um, intact and it's nice and solid. This handle is broken. Um, I think this was like $2. Um, but the handle's broken, so I may just put it facing this way, um, or maybe just try to take these off, I'll take the handle off altogether, and then, you know, see what happens. So I got the baskets. And then the third basket I got, this is so cute. Um, I've actually never seen one like this with a double um, hanger, I guess you call it, before. I can so see this on the wall with some pretty flowers in it, or maybe a few books or or something, but I love the color. I'm really super into blacks and browns and creams, tans, that kind of thing. And of course, like a forest green lately. So that's the way I'm kind of leaning with the decor, a lot more European farmhouse versus farmhouse farmhouse, if that makes sense. So um, I think you'll, you're, we're gonna see this definitely at my house for a while. Um, and then the other couple things I got, I got this, um, this thing, you. You could hurt somebody with this thing. This is so heavy, but it came with, it's super thick. It's like, I think two inches thick. Came with the little knobbies on the bottom, the little feet. Um, it was $5. I probably wouldn't use it for food. And I don't really use any of my cutting boards that I get um, thrifted wise um, for food necessarily. Uh, I, but I'm gonna sand it down and like stain it a little bit darker color. And then once we redo the kitchen, I think it's really gonna go well with the countertops. Um, and add like that again european farmhouse kind of kind of look a little kind of old world um i got this cute little i don't even drink wine but honestly i just thought it was so cute this will probably end up in the shop um but i'm gonna stencil on the front of it do something really cute like some something the farmhousey or something along those lines um but this is super cute the wood again the wood is in really good shape and the color is beautiful so there's that and then I got, you know, I'm all about suitcases. I love suitcases. Um, I just love the character that they add. This is definitely staying at my house for a while. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's got beautiful patina on it. Um, and it was $5. It was $5. So I'm gonna definitely be keeping this one. And I will show you at the end of this video where this ends up and how I decorate with it. And then I got some cute little Crocs. Here's one for that I got for 99 cents. You can never go wrong with white pictures or white Crocs. Um, you can use them anywhere in any room and for any season. I love this. Yeah, it was 99 cents. And I got this cute little, again, cutting board. I think this was like a dollar. Um, I'm gonna sand this off. This may end up in the shop. Um, I'm gonna sand this off and then do a cute little stencil on this. And you can use it on one of the shelves in the kitchen. And that's super cute. And then I think that's all I'll share with you today, except for this, my last one. How cool is this old medical bag? I don't know how old it is, um, but I did look online. I paid $5 for it. I, I, I was just, I was stunned when I found this, but this is definitely staying at my house. Um, I love the patina. I had to do a little bit of repair. Um, in some of the places with like a hot glue gun when it, where it was broken, but it's so cute and it has such great character to a space. Um, so I'm definitely keeping this one. So I will share with you guys 
where some of this stuff ends up um, in the house uh, in the course of the next, actually at the end of this video, I'll share that. And then um, my next video coming up is gonna be about artwork and what to look for when you're out thrifting uh, in terms of frames and artwork itself and how you can work that into your decor as well. So thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you on the next video.